So the plan for today is I'm going to snap a line all the way down and I got a there's a point where there's going to be a little drop down and then over to the door. I want to get all this stuff covered up with its final stucco, well not final, but with the, with the stucco coat because at some point eventually, probably after we get it finaled, I'll come back and they move in. I'll come back and I'll do the rock work on top of the on top of the stucco. But I gotta get this whole side. It's gonna this is the easy side. It's skinny strip all the way down. And then of course the other side around. That's gonna be the real pain, is because I gotta move a bunch of dirt and really try to figure out where that final line's gonna be. So I've snapped a line down to here. And I just got to finish it there, but first I'm going to just start on the big section. I'm going to take my utility knife and carefully follow my line and kind of pull it out so that I don't cut the waterproofing underneath. So be very careful. Okay, so I got all of that trimmed off down to right where I want it. And now I just gotta cap it. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna sweep all this off and clean off the blue skin, get all the cobwebs off, and seal all the holes from those fasteners. Hi, baby boy. I brushed this out. You brushed it? He's cleaning off the wall. Wow, you knew it needed to be cleaned all on your own, huh? And you picked up all of the self seal. Catchers that you cut off. Wow, look at you, buddy. Look at, yeah. This boy is amazing. Yeah, you've been brushing a bunch off. Did you tell him? I yeah. Did. Okay, alright. <laughs> that is no way that. <laughs> that he knew he had to clean it. Uh -huh. Well, he said it's dirty. those little green charges weak anyways I'll fire in these red ones see if that makes the difference I got this all nailed down pretty well so it shouldn't go anywhere and it's basically caps this helps keep stuff from falling in but you can see it's not the greatest design it's not like this stuff super rigid or anything so the next step is uh, a weep screed has to go on here. And I bought a special weep screed that's got a big enough bottom flange to accommodate a rain screen plus your brown coat and stucco coat. So it's uh, got a big flange on there and it's got all these weep holes for water to drain out. And if I was to just put it straight on, you'd be able to see the blue skin you know, behind it. So I've got a bunch of this extra aluminum flashing. And it just needs a... <laughs> you know, once that's on, then this sits right on top of that and you can't see the blue, sk blue skin anymore. And it'll keep the... keep the UV rays from degrading it too. Um, but that way when you're standing out there uh, you won't you won't see any blue stripe between the pressure treated wood and the stone it'll you know, 
it'll all just go from stone to pressure treated and wood chips just like it does in the front you can see on the corner the flashing from the other side the metal Oh, that went in a little far. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this at least once every foot too. Make sure it's got a real good connection to this concrete. The other thing is, is that water, you know, this'll, this won't be perfectly tight against the wall. So water can slip past it and just continue on all the way down to the footing drain if it wants. Or if it wants to come out on top and come and drip through here and then out, that's cool too. I got all the weep screed in now. It's all nailed off. So that's, that's a good step. So I got the metal on the bottom, and then I had, I should have showed you first, well, I guess I should show you the other side. So there's a, uh, got pressure treated plywood and then pressure treated two by four. And so to hide that, I just took some of that extra flashing and you know the rock will hide these two nails and then that looks pretty nice yeah. the rock will end up hiding most of this but the little you see will just be a nice little little bit of flashing sticking out and then so this pressure treated wood up here this runs the whole way I have this stuff You see the vents here. So then once all the metal is in covering up all the wood, then I can start installing the rain screen and then the metal lath. And I didn't show you the rain screen yet. Well, I showed it to you, but I didn't mention it. So this material is the actual rain screen. And so it's basically basement waterproofing or can be used in this this uh, application as well but it's just uh, basically a dimples out membrane you know it's the opposite of this and when you have a dimples out membrane you have to have some kind of fabric to, to maintain your void and so this stuff is perfect for concrete because you shoot it on there and once it hardens you have a permanent void back there and, uh, and you still have the, the plastic backing so if moisture gets through the concrete, it can go down through here. And even if it made, and then if it even made it through here, it's got you know the waterproofing on the foundation itself. But so yeah, so this will once I get the metal up in there, you can see some of the metal fly, coming around from the other side there. And then I'll wrap this, and I'm going to cut strips going vertically down. So that way I, I keep them waste to a minimum. Like if I did long strips, I'd have these long, crazy cuts that would just be really hard to get perfect. And strips will be easy. I threw in the metal all the way around. You can see it's, it was a little tight in here, but I bashed it up in there. And this was the last, I got 
Got it under there, and I got it under there. I got all that flashed. And I got this in. And I just got a little piece left right up there. read somewhere that cutting the back of this is how you get it to cut the corner. I guess you gotta really cut it. So I wrapped this over for a bug screen. I'll have to figure out something else when I put the, these sheets vertically. Okay, and there's a preview of what I'll be doing tomorrow. A lot of drilling. And I forgot, I just noticed one thing, I left this open, so I'll have to slip some fabric up in there to help keep the bugs out. But uh, other than that, hopefully I can get this all wrapped tomorrow. And uh, I'll show you how I go around these vents. Okay, let me talk about this stuff real quick. So this is just landscape cloth. And I've got it just kind of taped on to hold it in place. Because, you see, when I cut it this way and put it down, there's no bug screen to go up into the cavity. So this will get wrapped just like that. And the middle lath will go up and hold this flap up. And then no, that way no bugs can get up and in there. And I did it on the top too. And up here I taped it to the back of this first. And that way it just folds over. And then the metal will go on over that. And then the joints to keep the concrete out, these get folded over each other. And then here, I just wrap the metal right around and tuck it 
and then it just gets concrete to seal all the way around or mortar I should say so these are actually pretty easy but once I get wrap the metal around and I bolt all around make sure it's nice and secure the concrete will be what keeps the bugs out look at these slugs So I do it, I just make a cut here, cut the corners, and then just bend it in and tuck it behind. It gives me a nice edge. And then uh, then I'll just concrete it real nice. Once I, you know, I'll secure it really well all the way around. Once the mortar goes on, this will be nice and sealed for the most part, and any water that does leak is no, no big deal. It's not like much rain is ever gonna get under here, but uh, I think this is a decent way to do it. guy looks like the same slug from yesterday. Same size, same spot on the wall.
I'm just cutting at a real shallow angle so I'm not not gonna go too deep and I'm pulling it away. Fun stuff. Looks good. You can see most of the fasteners on this will be through into the studs. So I still got them marked here. So I'm gonna maybe put some tape here and mark them or something, or mark the wood underneath. Something so that I can still see where the studs are. So that when I go to put on the rain screen and the metal lath, I don't miss. I've been using this. I was looking for this, but uh, I didn't find it. And I just ran back inside and I just saw it sitting there. <laughs> this one works pretty good. It just it's spread out over, you know, pretty wide area. So I'll see how this one does, but I might end up going back to this one. Yeah. It's video rama. We're all taking <laughs> videos, huh? Yeah, look at this. <laughs> We're just a camera family now. It's yeah. been six months and now all we do is take videos, huh? Can't believe it. And now I got one of them. I know. We Total. used to like not take very many videos. <laughs> just mama took a lot of pictures of you all the time yeah. with my phone, but that was about it. I've never taken pictures. Now dad is a And now camera I'm massively over overcompensating. Yeah. Nice picture. You know that song? Yeah. It's your favorite song, isn't it?
been steady raining for like 20, 30 minutes or so. It's a, it's a real light rain though. So I'm gonna go ahead and fasten off this whole section here. And uh, then I'll take a break. that section at least. This stuff that I've just taped in place to hold it where I want it, it's just landscape fabric that I cut just strips off of. And I found that just using a serrated knife blade works the best so just cut off six or eight inches or so and then you got a you know a long roll of fabric and I'll I got this here and I'll cut off sections as I go for each piece of the rain screen so that I could seal the top So this is what happens when you let the drill cool off because without the drill being hot it doesn't melt its way through this stuff and it can get hung up and you can rip your whole freaking stuff out. Wonderful. So now I gotta tuck a piece in back in here or else my rain screen 
won't be protected from bugs. Okay. Well, I got all that fastened. So that's just needs some. Um, only thing I'll do before spraying the stucco is just kind of tape off where I don't want the stucco. So the next step would be I've got to make some flashing. I'm making it out of aluminum. All right, let's see which side looks better. So. I guess I'll just do an inch and I can come back and just push it down and, you know, tap it down, kind of mold it to the plastic a little bit. Come on, rain. Thanks for getting everything wet for me. Okay, so that'll go on like that, I guess. So this is what I'm using, this Ram Set Cobra. It's worked pretty well. So I got all this nailed on. But yeah. So that's all nailed in too, so it, it can't go anywhere. Oh, it's raining good now. Oh, look at this guy. Hi, Mr. Slug. That's just a medium sized one. So if you're curious, these are inch and a quarter galvanized plaster washers. These are inch and three quarter tap cons. And that's what I'm using to uh, fasten everything with. And if for some reason these ones don't take, then I got these two and a quarters, which are half inch longer. And up top, I have been using just these guys, these four inch, 20 penny stainless steel. But uh, I think using a combination of these and just regular three inch stainless nails should work just fine. So I'll use like one of these every three or four feet. And these ones, you know, two or three in between these ones. 
Same with these, just stick a washer on there. I'm just filling up my bags. All right, it's time for some metal. Well, don't know if that was the best way to do that, but it worked. Also, is a good way to eat up grinding wheels. Whew. Okay, so yeah, so I'm done with this for now. I'm gonna go take a break and um, I'll come back and I should probably clean up this mess.
This looks really nice. Go grab the shovel and the rake, and I'm gonna start. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pull all this stuff off. Moving this dirt out of the way so that I can pick the final grade line on the house. Fun stuff. So it'll go angle down, flat across, step down, boom. There it'll have to be a step up, over, another step, and then angle all the way up to the top. So kind of a complicated line, but it should work. And then I gotta, I do have to bring the tractor down here and dig this out at least about 12 inches or maybe a little more lower. And even a little bit here. The sun beats down all morning here, so I'll probably figure something else out in the morning and then come back in the afternoon and work on this. So, until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Avery's ready to go home. I've just been going around the house and figuring out the final line. And yesterday I did some work digging to kind of help me visualize what this is going to look like so that I don't put the stucco totally in the wrong spot and terminate it in the wrong spot. Because because we're on a hillside here we're going to need some retaining walls or else all this land is just going to be a slope and it's going to be not very usable for gardening or enjoyment or anything like that. So um, This way we'll have a nice walkway that comes all the way down. It's like a ramp basically. And we'll have these kind of terraces. And once once I get all the rocks in here, I'm going to terrace this a little bit too. So that way, you know, the soil actually stays in place and you can actually garden somewhat effectively. We'll also plant some fruit trees in here too. I've got a pretty good idea of how I'm going to snap it out. I've just got a little more digging over there to do where the heat pump's going to go. And then I'm going to take my chalk line and snap out lines. And if the sun hasn't driven me off by then, I'll go ahead and trim it off and start and get out my ram set and start pinning it on. Come on, fog. And I got my, I got my big brimmed hat that the birds built a nest in, but I got the nest out of it, so it's ready to go.
So I was firing, I was firing in some of these pins and shot myself. Shot myself somewhere in there. Just a little bit of blood, nothing major, but I'm glad I was wearing these because again, yesterday I took a piece of shrapnel to the top of my forehead and today right here. Yeah, I definitely got a hot piece of metal on my forehead on that one. It's a good example of why to wear eye, eye protection. Especially these things, these are pretty dangerous. Anyways, I gotta get the grinder. Because this fastener was right there, I'm gonna cut this nail off and put some caulk over it before I put the cap on. Much better. Uh. All right, so I got all the holes filled. Come on, wind. And I'll probably wait until I'm sure that I'm going to put on the, the masonry rain screen that will cover over everything. I'll wait to roll out the blue skin, get all the, the rest of the wrinkles out until I'm going to do that because if I don't do it today, the sun will come back and just I'll have to do it again. The sun will come back and just pop all the bubbles back out. I've noticed that those bubbles that were here this morning are long gone now. Except for this one right here. So yeah, all the other ones are gone. So it was just because it was heated up by the sun. So if I can get it covered up before it gets heated up again, then I know that my nails or bolts are going through uh, where it's fastened securely to the wall and not going through an air bubble. It's starting to finally look like a high-tech weather barrier now instead of cardboard and foam and tape and duct tape.
You can also see this black vent, which is the siding vent for the step up above. There's actually a three quarter inch airspace behind this siding. And there's a vent all the way up at the top, so air can come in here and come out the top up there. Same principle as what will happen with this masonry rain screen. Air will come in here, it'll be able to come out the top here. Some air will probably come out and go get sucked in here, but uh, that's the idea behind it. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on my head and use two hands. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. We ran it a little long, so any moisture can just drip right off. You see? Oh boy, I'm tired. Well, let me just try to get through and finish wrapping the rest of this. The far one I don't have to wrap. It's um, there's actually, this two by four is here because there's exterior insulation. I talked about the rain screen earlier, but there's also an inch and a half of rock wool insulation that goes all over the blue skin. Uh, and over here, all I have is just some plastic furring strips it's like a little half inch rain screen, and this is three quarter inch rain screen. The last, uh, last few days that I've been working on this, when I was doing the other side of the house, I kept complaining that I didn't want to spend any more time on my knees, but it's funny because a few days, you know, up until, even now, up until today, my knees weren't really sore at all, but my toes, my toes have been killing me. And, and then I just did this again today, so I know my toes are just going to be singing tomorrow. <laughs> uh, it's like, just swollen toes, you know, so every time you walk, it's just sore. Fun stuff. Getting old, I guess. I'm done. No more. I've done plenty today. I don't need to push it and kill myself. It would take me at least another hour to get these pieces in that I want to, and I just don't have the energy or patience right now. So I'm going to call it a day, and I'll just have to come back and re-roll this guy. <laughs> Uh, I did not want the sun to bake on it, but it's, it's, it is what it is. This morning I didn't even have a finished line marked out, so that was pretty good. If I had gotten the, the rain screen on, that would have been a hell of a day. Almost forgot to give it a quick re-roll. I had to go back under there. It's still pretty, pretty stuck. There's only a couple spots, like you know, little, little air bubbles like that. But I got some air bubbles here now that weren't there a minute ago. Well, an hour ago. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's an air bubble now. Maybe I'll just wait then. Because I should be getting some shade fairly soon and let this stuff cool down a little bit. Okay, in case you were curious, I uh, stuck my hand behind here. It's cold and there's no bubbles.
Oh, that took way longer than I thought it would. Oh, okay, I'm done. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, this vent will work a lot better now. And I'm done for now. It's time to buy a lot of bags of mortar. <laughs> That'll be a job when I do that. And I'll do it soon because I don't want the sun degrading this more than necessary. Oh, that looks so good. I've been looking at that just floppy stuff and cardboard for like a year. Go get a snack, come back and clean all this up, fire up the tractor and do some dirt work. Oh, there's an Artemis. He's out here to come inspect. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Forgotten that it was Father's Day today, and Avery had a couple of cards waiting for me that he had made. <laughs> Pretty awesome. The last couple hours, me and Avery, we were just uh, mowing everything because that's his favorite thing to do. So uh, he had so much fun that he's taking a nap now, and he's never he never takes naps. Looks nice from up here. So you can see the the scheme I'll have here. I'll have rocks coming all the way down. Nice curve. The rock wall there. And where the camera tripod is, that's where the heat pump will go. So this can pretty much stay like this until move in with the exception of I gotta get a slab in to put the heat pump on. This morning I went and picked up a bunch of mortar. And so today I'm gonna start throwing this brown coat on. And I've got 20 bags, which is about as much as I dared throw in my van up there. So I taped off the vent, make sure I don't spray concrete up into the vent for the siding. 
and I'm just gonna blow concrete and trowel it right to this metal. It doesn't have to be perfect to the metal because it actually can breathe a little bit out of the top would be good. Even look at it all. You can see the broom marks, that's the scratch coat. Okay, I had a bit of a clog there. I think I got it cleaned out now. Hopefully my mortar isn't set up. I'm just spraying this out.
so I'm a little short. I need a little bit more here and there, and then I got got to make some more around the corner. it all brushed out I just used this broom here and I uh, kept wetting it and kind of rinsing it off and the corner came out okay and next step would be to tape off this whole section here This is just oil, a little bit of gun oil. This might be a little thick, we'll see.
And I wish I had just looked <laughs> a little harder when I was researching stucking stucco. I think I did most of my research based on how I was going to compose the rain screen, but I never really followed through with just the basics. But never too late. So, um, one thing I watched uh, Kirk Gio Giordano. I think G Kirk. <laughs> I watched one of Kirk Gio Giordano's videos. Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, he put some tape on here, uh, the back about a quarter inch from the fins, and he said that really helps with, I guess apparently this, the problem with this is that it gets a bunch of little crumbles almost that come to the surface that end up kind of hindering your, your next coat. But by putting the tape, it helps reduce that. Kirk Giordano. Yeah, that's how you say <laughs> Kirk Giordano. I guess the tape kind of acts like a trowel almost to smooth out the little dangles or whatever. See how this works? That's nice. I think that'll be a lot better. That's a wrap on stucco for today. Should be able to knock the rest out in one day. Super pruney. All right, so I'm back for either the last day or one of the last days. So this happened. Let's hope this is enough to cover that and I don't have to make another bag. It's going to be close though. It's probably going to be the amount that's still, that I spilled on the ground over there.
It's so close. The stucco is looking really nice. Um, I need to come back with a clean sponge and give it one last wipe, take this film off. I'll do that at some point. Let me start building these, uh, this retaining wall, I guess. Well, I'm a, the last scoop of scooping out that stuff and throwing it in the wall and I remembered this spot needed just a little bit. And the last scoop was just enough to cover it up. <laughs> Got lucky.